Okay, when an individual is arrested, one of the first things they do is come to the county jail and... They're brought in and we uh, fingerprint them uh, to check their identity. I mean, we're running it through several databases and, and this ICE initiative now is just going to be another database that this system is going to check. It goes to the FBI database and we see if we have the right person or we begin starting what's called a criminal bill. If the person has never been arrested before, we're starting a criminal history process right here with the first uh, booking. Captain Anthony Wickersham, what is the former process that you guys went through? The old former process was rolling it on ink and paper cards, and we would then submit them to the FBI, and they'd have to be reviewed, classified, and uh, which was time-consuming and burdensome. Now, this is almost instantaneous, correct? Instantaneous, yep. Once it's the tr transmission is sent, it goes into the databases, and things are working well. Within a few minutes, we get a response back. Do we have an inmate uh, that we could show the people how it works? Sure. Okay. So start over the right hand, sir. Cole County Sheriff's Deputy Dave White is fingerprinting the suspect. Is that right, Dave? That's correct. How does it work? Well, the first we do the, the hand flat, start off with the right hand, the computer reads it, registers if it's a good print or not, after that we do the side of the hand, again the computer reads it, after that's complete and the machine accepts it, we go on to the thumb. Again the computer reads it accepts it, and then we roll each finger from start to finish and move on to the next finger. And what's the purpose of this procedure? Identification. Make sure you know who the suspect is? Exactly. Okay. And now we're capturing their fingerprints at the time of the arrest, again confirming if the individual had prior arrest into the system that we actually have the right uh, individual here and he's given us the right name or her giving us the right name. Well, this new process began on Tuesday, correct, with the Macomb County Sheriff's Department? Well, this is with Macomb County databases in general. Again, for us, it's it's really a behind-the-scenes uh, process that's happening with ICE. Um, our business, as usual, people come in when they're arrested, we're going to take their fingerprints, and again, once we submit them, it's going to go and check different databases. So it'll just be another response that we will get if it hits the ICE uh, database or Homeland Security database and there's an individual that may be wanted or you know, they want to know the location and they're going to contact the, uh, the agency. 